And we have uh, actually somebody you know very well, Ryan. Who, who do we got? His name's Brandon Flowers. No kidding. Brandon Flowers, lead singer for The Killers. Welcome to the program. What's up, everybody? Good morning, Brandon. I didn't expect you to call. It's nice to hear <laughs> from you, my boy. <laughs> I'm excited to, excited to talk some Vegas Christmas tradition. What, what are some of yours, Brandon? I mean, uh, we've been talking about uh, really the, the videos for your Christmas songs are just awesome. I watched them all yesterday. I was cracking up. But uh, well, talk about Christmas in Vegas to you. What, what's it mean to you? Uh, as I said, Vegas is such a different place. People from outside of Vegas don't think, you know, you're going to have a regular Christmas here. But talk about yours. Yeah, we have a, spe- you know, I have a special place in my heart for for palm trees with Christmas lights on them and, and um <laughs> and just the different experience that we have in in the desert having Christmas and but we had a, a fun tradition when I was, if there was snow in Charleston, we would go on Christmas morning. We would we would drive up Boulder Highway and eat at Nevada Palace, and then we would go and continue on our journey after we ate breakfast and go up and, and tube in the mountains. And and you know so those are some of my most fondest memories of my life. You know, with my uncles and my dad and my mom and my brothers and sisters, and and so yeah, I, I, we did have our our own versions of White Christmas sometimes. Yeah, I was definitely going to bring that up. Uh, going tubing in um, Mount Charleston seems to be like the old school Vegas tradition that a lot of us had. I think it's a little too dangerous for a lot of the kids these days. But boy, we. We would really fly down and just flying down hell bent for. There was always an injury. Uh, yeah. Do you have any injuries in your household, Brandon? <laughs> no, not that I recall. Yeah, well, no. I guess we had a wilder family. And, and Brandon, again, we're talking to Brandon Flowers of the Killers. Your videos. Uh, I was talking with Ryan a bit earlier in the, just just before we started about how deranged he looked in a lot of those videos. Talk about the genesis of the Christmas videos and and, and Ryan's place in those as this Santa in this dirty outfit. <laughs> yeah, he was. Uh, well, he, we we were touring the world together, and he he had a he had he, before he was Santa. We we used to call him the Captain. And so we started to see him as this other character. It sort of just developed, and we were just messing around in hotel rooms with guitars and keyboards, and, and that's when Don't Shoot Me Santa was written. Um, and he had also played Santa in the video, in our first Christmas video before that. It's called The Great Big Sled. That was a more docile that. Santa there. It was before yeah, the— More the, traditional. More traditional before the deranged element was thrown in the next year. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, they're really hilarious. It, 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 you kept doing these year after year, and, and Ryan, I think you appeared in maybe three or four of these videos. Yeah, well, I appeared in uh, four, but um, I, I performed in three, yes. Performed in three. And, and Brandon, what would you say is your favorite um, Christmas song that the Killers have put together? Um, let's Don't mess see. this up. I, we, had, we, we had so much fun making those first the first few of those. Um, I think Don't Shoot Me Santa is... is so left field, <laughs> yeah, um, and it's something that, that kind of stands out. But for, for for sentimental reasons, I think I like boots also. So anyway, I love I, lo- I love them all. When when you tell people that you're from Vegas, uh, do they ever ask you that question? You know, what's Christmas like in Vegas? I I get questions all the time from people back in Wisconsin about, you know, how can you be there on Christmas? What's it like there? You have all, you know. Every hedonistic fantasy that people want is possible in Las Vegas. What do you tell? Do you get those kind of questions? Yeah, but I still, you know, I still go back to like the crooners. There's some connection to the Rat Pack and those guys singing those Christmas songs, or even Bing Crosby or somebody like that. That reminds me of Las Vegas, yeah. and, and and I think that that we, even though, and a lot of people throughout the world are listening to that same music. And I always tie a lot of those characters back to where we're from. And, and so it seems it doesn't seem that like that much of a departure from other people's Christmas experiences to me in that sense. But yeah, it's a warm, it's a warm time for me. Do you think you would ever consider a Vegas Christmas show? Yeah, I mean, yeah, if, it's, if, it's, if the uh, opportunity <laughs> presented itself, that would be interesting. Time, I think I think yeah, that would be fun to put something <laughs> like that together. Bring it back, Brandon. <laughs> Tuxedos, 
Yeah, that'd be that awesome. That would be so awesome. And you're right. We were listening to Christmas songs yesterday. Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra, uh, all those songs, trying to figure out what which songs we're going to play during the program today. And again, uh, Brandon Flowers uh, has been on the line with us from The Killers. Uh, Brandon, thank you so much for calling in. Thank you, guys. Hey, nice talking to you, Brandon. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Yep. Bye. Take care. <laughs> Again, that, that was Brandon Flowers of The Killers. 